right, everybody, it's Rick here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews, and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. What do you do if you want to make your airgun quieter than it already is? Let's talk about it. So before we get started, I want to remind you guys that we have a Patreon channel now, and also we have the Officers Club over at Airgun Army. If you guys want to help support what we're doing beyond our normal sponsorship, so we got like some cool projects that we can do, buy gear, equipment you guys want to know about, yeah, please help us out. Join either one. Uh, it's the same price either way, and it will uh, go towards those projects, either something I'm doing or something Airgun Angie's going to do. But yeah, we really appreciate all those that have already signed up. And we've already got some really cool um, content already there. So check it out. You can sign up and get a free trial if you like it. Stick with it. And we do appreciate your support. So what are we doing today? I thought, you know, let me show folks, if, they, if you don't know, how to put a mod on. It's like super easy. But I have here some zero dB moderators. And the reason I have these, uh, first of all, I asked uh, Air Guns of Arizona, please send me some. And they did. Thank you very much. It was very nice of them. Um, and they've sent me like a really nice selection. And I did not understand um, the differences between them in the sense of how can you tell what one goes with what? Um, and I, I was looking at, because I actually used to sell these with Ergon Pro Shop. And I remember getting some of these in and there's like a little circle on the box and the boxes got weathered and old and there's, I still have some sitting in the, in the workshop and I don't know what size they are. And I'm like, uh, I don't want to put a 22 on a 25 and blow the front end of the stinking moderator. Let me put these away. Or maybe I don't have the box anymore. So what do I do? How do I know? And then I realized that on the box, uh, doughhead that I am, there's actually like one star for 17722. There's two stars for 25 and there's three stars for 30. And um, yeah, felt kind of stupid. But if I look at these little guys here, well, the little, little guy and then this guy, there's one little star on them, which means these are for 17722. And this with two little stars is for 25. And this big mama jamma, has three stars, which is for 30, and this actually has um, two different thread types. So you can go one half UNF, and there's the bigger one. I don't remember the exact thread size, but you guys probably know that. Uh, but some guns need a bigger thread or have a bigger thread on the end, and this will take, uh, will do either. So I thought that was pretty cool. So we have 30, 25, and 22, and 177. So this is a 177. So any of these would work, right? Technically, right, some may work better than others, but what will not work, like if you have a 25, you don't put a 22 on it. And if you have a 30, you don't put a 22 or a 25 on it, right? So I have a 177, any of these are going to work fine. Uh, but if you, you can't go the other way. So I think I would probably like a black one in full size. And let's see, I don't know if this is going to capture on camera. And I'm not going to go pull my dB meter out today. I may do that on it. I really want to do multiple moderators and see which one does the best job, but that's going to be a, for another day, and I hope these don't fall over. Okay, so let's see what it sounds like. Okay, it's kind of like a slap sound to it. Let's uh, grab this one. I would probably use this one. Personally, and this is me, um, I like to run one size larger on my mods. Uh, simply because if, just if, um, let's say the mod's machined to really tight tolerances, I want these to fall over. Um, or the pellet leaving the bore is just a little bit not perfectly centered, or maybe they both happen, I don't want it to clip the baffles and ruin my moderator. So I like to give myself a little margin for error. So if I have a 22, 177, I'll use a 25 mod. If I have a 25, I'll use a 30, and so forth. The 30 mods probably have to use 30. Um, but if I have the opportunity to go up one, a little bit bigger size, I do it. Yeah. Oh, yes, there's a p at the end, but I'm hearing a lot more uh, gun mechanicals than I am shot, shot noise. Yeah, that's great. I want to know what the big one sounds like. I wish you guys could hear it better. I don't know how to rig up a mic um, that would really demonstrate that properly. I mean, I can even say this DB or that DB, which I, I really, that in and of itself actually doesn't really tell you much unless you really know that 
okay, normal speech is about 60 dB and a lawnmower is about 80 or 90 dB and et cetera, et cetera. Um, this one, like it needs more thread. That one wouldn't be a good fit for this. All right, we're just dry firing anyway. Quieter. Bigger is quieter. We'll put the itty bitty one on just for giggles. This looks like the threads are fairly long and it bottomed out on this. It's like it didn't want to go in all the way. I didn't want to force it. So, all right, let's use this little guy and let's see what it sounds like. But I have a little Brocock Ranger XR and it has this little moderator. It works really cool. It works really well. Actually, I don't know that there's much of a difference on this gun between these, the, the longer one and the short one. I'd probably just run the little guy. Less, less room for the pellet to clip. I would run the little guy and it's cheaper. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys in case you've never or you've ever wondered, maybe you're new and you want to know how to do it. If your gun has one half UNF and you want to make it quieter than it is, uh, these zero dB moderators are really cool and you can just look at the front cover and see what size or what caliber they work with. So that's going to be it for today guys. Just want to show you that quick thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my name is Rick Hutzer here with Airgun Web. You're home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts not fluff. Thanks for watching.